transit, wor transit workers get new leadership. The former head of the Boston Transit System says job one as the head of the New York City Transit will be to lure scared riders back to the system. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer says the new boss has already toured the system to identify shortcomings. The new president of New York City Transit, that's subways and buses, doesn't start until next month. But he's already ridden the subways and found them, well, wanting in some respects. I did observe riders, you know, standing against walls, for example, or situating themselves near posts or other immovable objects to make sure that someone didn't approach them from behind, for example. I also did see you know, homeless folks sleeping on, you know, platforms. Um, and... Um, you know, I did see a fare vader. And while the new head of New York City Transit, following in the footsteps of train daddy Andy Byford and train mommy Sarah Feinberg, says he did see a lot of good in the system, he knows that his biggest task will be improving ridership. A combination of crime, the homeless, and pandemic-driven telecommuting has riders avoiding mass transit in droves. Ridership is now about 3.3 million a day. Before COVID, it was 6 million. The riders deserve a better system. Um, and want a better system. Sitting next to MTA Chair Jano Lieber, the new transit boss identified three top priorities, safety, reliability, which means fixing tracks and signals, and cleanliness. Safety is absolutely the top priority uh, in the security of our system. I think that's job one. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams have already put in place two new programs to help, putting more cops on the system and launching a program to get the homeless off the trains. Lieber says there are signs it's starting to work. It's way too early to start declaring victory. We're catching, we're interdicting bad guys who enter the system with, with, with weapons on them at the fair gates. That's an important change that the police department has set in motion. The new transit chief has not owned a car since 2010 and says that buying a car in New York now would be, quote, the dumbest thing I would ever do. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.